This is an example solution to a problem from the easier of the two metric unit conversion problem sets from sciencepromer.com. What I did was just pull a question right out of the problem set. So I loaded the problem set in the web page and the first question that came up was how many liters are there in 105 nanoliters? So to answer this problem we need to know the relationship between liters and nanoliters. This is not information that we need to memorize because it can be easily looked up. And so I, my first step for me to solve this kind of problem is to go to a table such as this, which shows the relationship between the different prefixes, metric prefixes. The way this table is read is the base unit, and in, the, in this pr question the base unit is liters, is here in the middle. And so one base unit, it, it, it's, everything is relative to the base unit. And so one thing to remember is that 10 to the 0, anything raised to the 0th power is 1. So 10 to the 0 is 1. So one base unit. And then what this says is what that, what that is relative to these other powers. And so we are interested in the base unit liters here, and also in this case nanoliters, which is 10 to the minus 9. And the way we read this, is then to say that 1 times 10 to the negative 9 liters equals 1 nanoliter. And that's what this table is telling us. So here is the relationship we need to solve this question. Now there's a bunch of different ways, different approaches to solving these simple unit conversions and quite a few shortcuts that are very useful. But what I'm going to do today is show a, a fairly robust method that might not be the fastest, but it's a, it's a good way to solve the problems if you want to make sure to not make any mistakes. And mistakes are possible with this. One of the most common things I see is, especially if you try to do these kind of things in your head, it's very easy to multiply by a thousand or when you're supposed to be dividing and you end up with either a much larger or much smaller number than you needed. So here's the system. Follow the same process every time, no matter what the question is. Start with the, the, the original pr number, in this case 105 nanoliters. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this by a pr proportion and figure out what this then equals. And we're interested in here, in this case we want to go from nan nanoliters to liters. And we're going to use this relationship. We have a, a, a fraction here. What we're going to do is put the beginning unit, the one we're trying to get rid of, down below in this relationship, one nanoliter, and then write what one nanoliter is equal to in terms of liters, which is where we want to end up here. So one times 10 to the negative nine liters. And then just by solving this equation and keeping track of our units, we should get what we want. So let's deal with the, let's deal with the units first. And nanoliters cancel in this case because we've got a nanoliter in the numerator and in the denominator. So they cancel. And the only unit we're left with is liters, which is what we are looking for. So, so far, so good. And then what we need to do is multiply 1 point, uh, 105 by 1 times 10 to the negative 9. And if we do that, the answer, you can pull out a calculator and check this yourself, but the answer will be 1.05 times 10 to the negative 7. And so that's the answer to this problem. Now, if we need to put this into a computer such as the system used to solve the problems on sciencepromer.com, this needs to be in the E format. And so rather than write the times 10 to the negative 7, you can want 1.05 e negative 7. And this is the answer you would put in to solve that problem. Let's try one more. So again, how I get this was just by reloading the question on the website. And the next time I did it, I got this problem. And this time we were asked to figure out how many kilograms there are in 3,205 grams. So this time again, we're at the base unit, so we're still at one 
the relationship is one gram is gram and kilograms and in this case what we can say is that there are 10 to the 3 grams in 1 kilogram 10 to the 3 equals a thousand so it's 1 thousand grams equals 1 kilogram and now this is the relationship we need set up the problem the same way start with the original number in this case 3205 grams multiple set up the the formula we're going to use put grams in the bottom kilograms on top and use these numbers so 1000 grams 1 kilogram grams will cancel the unit we end up with is kilograms and so now if we multiply 3205 by 1 then divide by 1000 we end up with 3 0.205 is the final number and so this is the answer. Since this is a relatively small number only in the thousands we don't need scientific notation so just by putting 3.205 would be the right answer for this problem.